It will be soon. The skies will no longer be dominated by Airbus and Boeing. We've always suspected this, but when Russia launched the MC-21, it was confirmed even more firmly. When the position of the second largest player in the aircraft manufacturing world is shaken, many people wonder who will be the successor. Perhaps with its beautiful design, outstanding features, and the confidence of its manufacturer, the answer to this question will be revealed soon. Can the MC-21 redefine the future of narrow-body aircraft in the aviation world? Will it outpace China's C919 and challenge the might of the A320 and 737 igniting fierce competition? Let's dive in. To understand how special it is and why it was designed so special, let's first look at how it was made. After the 90s SOS, Russia's aviation industry shifted almost entirely to military aircraft production. In terms of commercial jets, only the Sukhoi Superjet 100 made it to mass production, with around 100 units produced. Meanwhile, Western manufacturers were constantly upgrading their planes to improve fuel efficiency and enhance passenger comfort, but all of these improvements were built on airframe designs that were decades old. Achieving optimal aerodynamics for fuel efficiency would require designing a plane from scratch. There is no shortcut for that kind of leap in performance. That's why, in the early 2000s Churies, the Irkut Corporation teamed up with the Yakovlev Design Bureau to take on this challenge and face off against industry giants like Boeing and Airbus. It was no small task, but this team had experience designing successful commercial aircraft like the Yak-40 and Yak-42, which had made waves on the global stage and been delivered to numerous countries. In 2008, they began full development of a new passenger aircraft named the MC-21, backed by Russia's Ministry of Industry and Trade. So what is their goal? to reclaim market share from the Boeing Airbus monopoly and this time, not just compete, but outshine them in technical performance. So what makes Irkut MC-21 so special? First, the MC-21, in its base model, is designed to carry up to 211 passengers. What's interesting is that it's wider than its closest competitors, delivering greater comfort for passengers while also being more fuel efficient. Thanks to enhanced wing aerodynamics, it boasts an impressive 24% fuel savings over current generation aircraft, compared to only 13-18% to savings in other models, even with new engines. The design of this Russian aircraft incorporates economic efficiency, eco-friendliness, quiet operation, comfort, and of course, reliability. Next to meet these high technical standards, engineers abandon traditional design models. The Yakovlev Design Center, part of Irkut, ditched paper plans and bulky models in favor of cutting-edge digital technology. Using a unified digital environment, they crafted a 3D model of the MC-21, allowing for instant feedback and modifications within a highly secure system. This sped up information flow and cut down on the time needed to review and approve designs for production. Then, over at the Irkut factory, historically known for producing thousands of military and civilian aircraft. The focus shifted back to civilian production in 2008. This factory produced the first fully assembled MC-21 components, including some of the aircraft's metal fuselage parts, using precise manufacturing processes and top-notch quality control equipment. Second, advanced quality control methods were introduced. Parts are inspected in a specialized room where they're covered with a fluorescent compound and checked under UV light to catch any tiny cracks. Factories across Russia produce other parts, including the nearly all composite wings, the first of their kind, with composite structures reaching up to 18 meters long. At Aero Composites Ulyanovsk plant, the process of crafting these composite wings involves layering carbon fiber, vacuum infusion, and baking, a complex series of steps that require advanced machinery and expertise to produce wings that are lighter and more aerodynamic than metal ones. After production, these parts undergo ultrasonic testing for potential flaws, while another Moscow lab stress tests sample parts to ensure they meet strength standards. Meanwhile, at the Ulyanovsk plant, a dedicated production line assembles the wings from composite and metal parts. These components, made across different cities, are brought together at the Aero Composite plant and eventually shipped to Irkut for final assembly. The production facility is prepared for mass production and can expand output quickly, with infrastructure in place, to add equipment and assembly stations as needed. In addition, the first completed wings have been delivered to UAC for installation on the new MC-21. The assembly has already given a glimpse of the final aircraft's shape. 
With half the fuselage completed and wings attached, its iconic form is taking shape. Every fuselage part has its designated assembly station, with highly precise alignment to ensure structural integrity. Notably, its cockpit has innovative solutions to enhance pilot accessibility to crucial information. For the first time in Russia's aviation industry, they've installed high-resolution displays that enhance situational awareness. An electronic tablet option for pilots even replaces paper manuals, and there's the choice to equip heads-up displays and advanced vision systems adding to the MC-21's cutting-edge profile. Finally, to boost competitiveness, UAC offers two engine options for the MC-21, Russia's PD-14 and America's PW-1400G. The first flights will use Pratt and Whitney's PW-1400G, one of the most advanced engines globally, also found on the Airbus A320neo. Using an instant a Sari, internationally popular engine speeds up testing and makes the MC-21 more attractive to foreign buyers. According to reports from Russia, the MC-21 has hit a major milestone with over 160 successful test flights using the PD-14 engine. The aircraft's wings have also undergone a rigorous testing cycle, showing promising durability. Developed by United Engine Corporation, the PD-14 plays a key role in the success of the MC-21, especially by complementing the Russian-made composite wings. This engine, being the first of its kind developed in Russia since the Soviet era, represents a revival for the Perm factories where it's crafted with advanced paperless technology that streamlines production, enhances fuel efficiency, and boosts reliability. Tested on an IL-76, the PD-14 has undergone thousands of measurements to ensure everything's on track. The technical test should wrap up by September, followed by certification trials. With expectations for strong orders, not only for the Irkut, but also for other planes, the PD-14 seems set for a busy future. But how do you understand how it stands out? Compare it to its competitors in the same segment. The MC-21 and Airbus A320. Two narrow-body, single-aisle aircraft are competing in the short to medium-haul market. The Airbus A320, an industry veteran since 1988, has won over airlines with its reliability, efficiency, and spacious cabin. The A320 has become a global favorite with its advanced fly-by-wire control system. Meanwhile, the MC-21 is the new contender, eager to join the game. Equipped with modern technology, the Russian aircraft aims to break into a market where the A320 has long held a stronghold. This rivalry is sure to add some excitement to the narrow-body skies. The Airbus A320 stands out as a popular aircraft in the narrow-body segment, serving routes from short to longer distances. Airbus has expanded the capabilities of this series with the A321 XLR, a model designed for extended range. The A321 XLR incorporates breakthrough technologies, enhancing the aircraft's overall operational capabilities. One standout feature of this aircraft is its fuselage width of 4.05 meters, a full 0.25 meters wider than the A320. This makes the Russian aircraft the widest single-aisle aircraft on the market, offering airlines and passengers greater comfort options. The extra width allows airlines more flexibility in seat arrangements, providing roomier options in the economy and enhanced space in business class, making for a more comfortable flying experience overall. The wider aisle also facilitates smoother service flow, reducing congestion and improving passenger satisfaction. The MC-21 truly represents a new level of comfort for short and medium haul flights. An important part, the MC-21's price advantage is indeed significant, estimated to be around 15-20% to 20 lower than the A320 and 737. While an A320neo typically costs around $110 million, and a Boeing 737 MAX is priced close to $120 million, the Irkut is expected to come in at around $90-95 to $95 million. This cost difference allows airlines to benefit from modern technology and improved fuel efficiency without the high upfront investment of their Western counterparts. For budget-conscious carriers, this makes the Irkut an especially appealing option, promising competitive performance at a substantially lower price. So how does the MC-21 compare to the C919? When comparing the MC-21 to the C919, both aircraft fall within the narrow body segment, but there are noticeable differences in size and passenger experience. The MC-21 is approximately 42.3 meters in length with a fuselage width of 4.05 meters, 
allowing it to carry between 150 and 211 passengers depending on the configuration. Its spacious and optimized design provides passengers with ample room, especially in terms of knee and shoulder space, along with modern interior features. In contrast, the C919 is 38.9 meters long, with a fuselage width of 3.96 meters, accommodating between 158 and 168 passengers. While the C919 offers a slightly wider cabin than its counterparts in the same segment, the Russian aircraft edges ahead with its more spacious overall design and advanced interior technology. Both aircraft aim to provide a comfortable passenger experience, but the MC-21 has a slight advantage in cabin space and modern design. The MC-21 isn't just aiming for takeoff, it's shooting for a 10% share in the heavy jet engine market. With the first aircraft now completed at the Irkut plant, everything is set for rigorous testing, and that all-important maiden flight is ready to make a grand debut and bring some serious competition to the skies. It's predicted that narrow-body jets like the MC-21 will account for 78% of the global passenger fleet, and this number could double over the next 20 years, surpassing a whopping 24,000 aircraft. With market demand on the rise, now is the perfect moment for Irka to launch mass production and help Russia secure a 10% stake in the global aircraft market by 2025. This ambitious goal positions it as more than just another aircraft. It's a strategic move aiming to shift the dynamics in commercial aviation. The MC-21's first unveiling drew considerable excitement, attracting high-ranking officials and public attention, while UAC confirmed that everything is progressing smoothly, with the plane prepped for its test flight. With 175 orders already in the books from airlines and leasing companies, the Russian aircraft is set to fuel not only the aviation industry, but also the Russian economy creating thousands of jobs, upgrading production technologies, and setting the stage for future breakthroughs in aerospace engineering. In short, the aircraft isn't just an aircraft. It's a bold vision for Russia's aviation future. With its advanced design, competitive ambitions, and strong backing from the Russian aerospace industry, the aircraft is set to make waves on the global stage. As it prepares for mass production and test flights, this aircraft represents a new era for Russian aviation, promising to fuel innovation, create jobs, and reshape the skies. Will the MC-21 be able to challenge the dominance of Western aircraft in the global market and truly compete with giants like the A320 and 737 MAX? Thanks for watching, and wish you always have safe flights.